Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're looking at a basic setup for uh, mounting your monitors on monitor arms. So something like I've got set up behind me, they're not on the old school monitor stands. I've taken them off the stands, I've put them onto monitor arms. It makes it look a lot fancier, a lot neater. We're gonna really just cover how I've set those up. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to do this in your place. This is a normal Lenovo screen. All right, you can buy any of these from any store, any brand. They're gonna come with a normal stand. And what you need to get is you need to buy yourself a uh, mount so that you can actually mount it to a wall or to a desk. So I've got two different examples here. Uh, this is one that allows you to have two screens hooked up onto it. And this is one that allows you to have a single screen. You'll see that essentially it's got a little plate here. That's the plate that gets attached to the back of your uh, the back of your monitor. But essentially this moves up and down. The whole arm can be moved. And then this is the part itself that actually mounts onto the desk. Then I've got a bigger unit right here where I can actually have a couple. You can see this little thing slides left and right as well. So I'm gonna have two screens mounted side by side, again with an arm and then mounted onto a desk. There are various brands available, uh, really depending on how much money you're willing to spend. These are actually quite good quality. Uh, these particular ones that I've got, uh, they're gonna be sturdy, they're solid, um, and they're gonna be able to handle the weight of your monitor. You get what you pay for, all right? So get yourself something that's good quality. There are various ones available, you can check them out online. Okay, so let's just get our screen and we'll take that stand off. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna grab your screen. I've just got a nice little cloth here, a little towel, uh, just to protect my, uh, my desk, as well as the front of your screen. Uh, you don't wanna be scratching anything there. And then you just essentially just put it on its front, like so. And now we need to take this piece off right here. Now, depending on the brand, the make, the size, this is gonna be slightly different. Some may have screws, some you could just click off. This particular one just has a button right here that I push up, lift up, and then the actual stand comes off nice and easy. I generally like to keep them because you never know uh, in future if you wanna sell it, if you want to go back to a stand, keep this uh, handy. Now here we're presented with the back of the monitor. You'll see that this particular screen has four different screw holes and we're gonna get the mount uh, and screw that in. So here is the plate. Uh, this is the plate that comes as part of this, this set for dual screens. We're setting up two different screens. Uh, you'll see that this one is slightly different. This one is gray, but you will see that there's a number of different screw holes, very much like this one here. There's a number of different screw holes to cater for different screens. Some may have risers. I'm gonna place it right on my monitor and I'm gonna just screw those four screws in right there. That's all nicely screwed in. This particular one right here comes with a nice little plate that I can just put onto there. The next part is now to attach this particular monitor arm to my desk. All right, so the mount, we're now gonna screw it in from the bottom, all right? And it literally just tightens against the table right here. And then we're gonna place the rest of the monitor arm on top. To tighten it, we're just gonna use a standard Allen key. Table mount is on. Let's go ahead and actually put the arm up itself. Now different models, depending on the brand and the make and the model, uh, will have like a locking nut where you can sort of lock it so that it only moves 90 degrees or 180 degrees, or if you want it to have 360 degrees so that you can turn it anyway. This particular stand moves left and right and it locks right there. And the actual top also turns, the actual whole thing, and you can lock it. There are Allen key holes throughout the whole unit itself where I can actually lock it into in certain places, make it tighter, make it softer. And now these are the actual clips themselves where we've now going to attach the, the screens themselves and we're now going to line up. And there you have it. So I've got a couple of screens now mounted nice and easily on my desk. As I said, you can move these up and down. You can move them left and right. Um, you can actually make sure that they're adjusted in a particular way that makes the most room and sense for your uh, particular space. And here we've got a different sort of monitor, still a Novo, but slightly smaller with the single mount monitor arm right here, which we are gonna just line up. So here is the single monitor arm, which has already been now fastened to the table, and then we'll just slot right here into place. Uh, this also moves up and down, forward and back, and you can move it all the way around as you need to to fully adjust just lining up the back of this bit right here. It should just slide right in. 
So there are three monitors mounted with two monitor arms. And the great thing about these monitor arms as well is that you can actually run all the cabling along the monitor arms themselves. So through the bottom, there's actually clips that clip on. You can see them right there. And then you can run the cables right through here. You can easily just remove these. So you can actually run the cables through. And then once you're done, you just put the plate back on. So there you have it. That is my summary to get these screens uh, on a monitor arm. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and like this video. Subscribe to Digital Bike Computing and click on, my, on that notification bell there to be up to date as I release new videos. It helps me and it helps you uh, to see my new content and to release better content. But that is it for now. We will see you next time.